Hey folks, this is Game Master Mike, and this is going to be a countdown video of my top 5 Sega Genesis hidden gems that I've picked out in my collection. Now, these games that I have are completely awesome, and I really do love it, and you guys should get a chance to play these uh, platform Sega Genesis games, because... If you play it, then you will love it. Now, we're not talking about um, Sonic the Hedgehog, where that is an awesome Sega Genesis platform game, and you'll get blown away of how fast Sonic is. But I picked out some games that needs tons and tons of attention. And so, um, we're going to start off with this um, countdown. Starting off with number five. Quack Shot starring Donald Duck. Now, I had a fun time playing Quack Shot. You're Donald Duck and you explore everything and um, you um, shoot up things with your laser gun, which is pretty fantastic. I did have a fun time playing Quack Shot starring Donald Duck. Some of the levels are tricky, some of them are too easy, but it is a very fun platformer. So, I had tons of fun playing Quack Shot starring, starring Donald Duck, excuse me there. Number four, we got X-Men. Um, I've never owned this game for a while until I've um, picked this up several years ago. Um, I played this game in, at my cousin's house years ago, and I had a fun time with X-Men. I'm glad you can choose which character. You can switch out characters during the game. The, um... Levels are pretty neat. I like the summons, which helps you with um, some tough boss battles and everything. So, um, it is like one of... The, I think it's the only Sega Genesis game that requires you to reset the system to advance, advance or reset, like, um, a de data, which was pretty neat. Like, I got real far into the game, and the next thing, I didn't know what to do. Well... I tried resetting the system until these numbers came up and I advanced to the next level, which is kind of weird. But overall, it is a fantastic game. I really do enjoy the characters and the game design and the music is pretty awesome, which is wonderful. So, um, I um, want you guys to check this game out for the Sega Genesis. You will love it. Number three. Toe Jam and Earl. This is a pretty fun game. I really do love playing as Toe Jam and Earl exploring other planets. Now, um, I've um, rented the sequel Toe Jam and Earl Panic of Functron where you gotta do like rhythm beats and you gotta collect cows. Well, this you gotta run around other planets collecting food, which is pretty fantastic. Really do love the Toe Jam and Earl series for the Sega Genesis, so, um, if you're into um, these kind of Sega Genesis platformers, I highly recommend getting Toe Jam and Earl, which is pretty fun. Number two. Desert Demolition starring Roadrunner and Wily e. Coyote. Now, this is a pretty neat Sonic clone. It is really awesome. One of the few best Sonic clones out there. It's almost like you're um, playing a Roadrunner and Wily e. Coyote episode. You can choose either the Roadrunner or Wily e. Coyote. You can um, be Wily e. Coyote and catch the Roadrunner, go through other platforms. I like playing the Roadrunner because um, he's really fast. So the game design and everything is amazing. Um, the levels have no music. The only music in the levels is when you run or walk, it plays this catchy tune with the rhythm of the uh, running and w or walking. So... Which is pretty neat and creative for this game, so I really do love this game a lot. And number one, Rocket Knight Adventures for the Sega Genesis. I love playing as Sparkster the Possum there. I love all the levels, the music is awesome. It should what a platformer be, so if you have a Sega Genesis, I highly recommend getting and playing this game. You will love it. I love the details and everything about this game, which is pretty awesome there. So, um, like the design and graphics level, I'd give it a 10 out of 10, which is the best. So, I really do enjoy playing 
Rocket Knight Adventures a lot. They also released this game on the Super Nintendo. Well, um, the Sega Genesis version is a lot better to my opinion. So, I love playing Rocket Knight Adventures on the Sega Genesis. Now, the sequel, Sparkster, is also on the Genesis and Super Nintendo, which... The sequel is a lot better on the Super Nintendo than the Sega Genesis. Same with the music and graphics. So I may pick, an, pick up the sequel for the Super Nintendo. Otherwise, the Genesis version of this game is pretty awesome. I really do love it. So this is the number one platformer in my Sega Genesis gems, by the way. Well, folks, there you have it. That is my top five... Sega Genesis gems in my collection. I hope you all enjoyed this video and until next time, thanks for watching.